Major milestone today for efforts to enshrine abortion rights in our state's constitution. The groups behind it now have enough valid signatures on the petition required to put the measure on the ballot for voters this November. Western News political reporter Greg Fox explains why this is just one of the many other legal maneuvers in play regarding abortion rights. Since last April, the political committee Floridians Protecting Freedom, representing Planned Parenthood and other abortion rights groups, has been collecting signatures to place a proposed amendment on the ballot in November to limit government interference with abortion. The group now has the required number of valid voter signatures, more than 911,000, though it's collected roughly 1.5 million signatures from voters like Jasmine Card, who says protecting a woman's right to choose is vital. As a woman, to have somebody else tell me what I can do with my body, I feel like isn't right for anybody. We believe that politicians interfering with private medical decisions around abortion are dangerous. And we cannot let politicians have the ultimate say on this issue. But Republican Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody is fighting to keep the abortion measure off the ballot, arguing that allowing abortion until, quote, viability is too vague. Others question why much of the nearly $10 million raised to fund the petition drive, which is revealed in campaign finance records, is coming from out of state. Look, when out of state left wing money comes in, they've proven they have the ability to send paid signature gathers out to get signatures. And this is not the first time they've done so. Republican local lawmaker Randy Fine says voters, if given the opportunity, should reject the initiative. I think this is basically written in a way to allow abortion anytime on demand for any reason. And I think that the ballot language isn't clear. Clear enough, argues Florida Democratic Party chair Nikki Freed, for so many voters to sign the petition to show their support. Stake, and that this is greater than, than just, you know, reproductive health healthcare, that this is about our freedoms and fighting um, to make sure that, that we are living in a society um, that is fair and just and, and keeping government out of our bedrooms. The Florida Supreme Court is set to hear oral arguments on the proposed amendment February 7th. And the state's high court has other related business. It's yet to rule in the case where a lawsuit was brought by Planned Parenthood, the ACLU and abortion providers against the state after it passed a 15-week abortion ban in 2022. If the court of mostly conservative justices favor the state, 30 days after the ruling, a more restrictive six-week abortion ban passed in 2023 will take effect, with exceptions for rape and incest, but only if a woman provides proof of a crime and only up to 15 weeks. Greg Fox, West News. Now, if the proposed abortion rights amendment makes it to the ballot, 60% of voters would have to approve it for the measure to then be written into the state constitution.